concerted challenge to compulsory conscription the South African government has faced. At news conferences in Cape Town and Johannesburg, 143 young whites declared themselves unwilling to serve with the country's defense force under any circumstances. South Africa's emergency media restrictions prevent me from quoting the protesters. I'm only allowed to reveal that they're calling for what's described as a constructive alternative to conscription. They suggest social work or community service. Some of the men were due to begin their military duties today, after induction and basic training, then a tour in the war zone on the Angolan border. Others, who've already served their two years, say they'll refuse to attend annual military camp, as they're obliged to do under the law. The anti-conscription campaigners are on collision course with the authorities. Last week, David Bruce, a 25-year-old conscientious objector, was jailed by a Johannesburg court. He was sentenced to the maximum term of six years imprisonment. David Bruce had told the court he wouldn't serve with South Africa's Defence Force. Its role, he claimed, was to uphold and defend a fundamentally racist system. This is Bill Frost for the 9 o'clock news in Johannesburg. The South government said the plan was not acceptable to the Angolan or Cuban delegations. It dismissed the plan, describing it as preposterous and unrealistic. From next to townships, both politically sensitive missions for which an increasing number of recruits are refusing to sign up. Across four cities today, 142 young men explained why. The SADF violently maintains and propagates a fundamentally unjust and oppressive system. We cannot make a contribution to justice and peace and at the same time be part of the SADF. For service in the SADF is service to apartheid and disservice to the people of South Africa. We will not be sacrificed on the altar of apartheid. The penalties for objectors are severe. Last week, university graduate David Bruce became the first to receive the maximum six-year jail sentence. But the majority of whites do answer the call-up. I don't think it's really serving the racialist interest. Everybody has to go. It's like, it's, it's the rules of the country. And so, after the painful partings, the start today of two years' service, marching to the orders of their government in Pretoria. Kevin Dunn, News at 10 in South Africa.